Hi everybody, it's Amy. Today we are out here in gorgeous Florida. We are in Dr. Phillips area and this is another inventory home by Meritage Homes and this community is called Parkside. This particular home, okay, when we went to tour it just now, all I can say was wow. Every time we turned to the corner it was wow. So I'm just going to call this home the wow home. It's actually called the Vizcaya, V-I-Z-C-A-Y-A. -A. I'll have to double check the spelling of that. But it is a gorgeous floor plan here at Parkside. Again, Meredith Holmes is the builder. Meredith Holmes is one of the most energy, if not the most energy efficient builder. Uh, this home is incredible. I seriously, there are so many things that I, I, I don't even know how to start this video. Okay, so you come in the front door and to your right, you have this. So if the gorgeous exterior of the home isn't enough to like make you want to buy it, this office is. This is a great den space or an office space. Now, it has these double doors here, so it gives you privacy, the privacy you need in an office. If you maybe you work from home, you have clients. Look at the space in this office. Not only the space, but the flooring. Now, this flooring has been um, extended throughout the first floor. This is the wood plank flooring, and it is gorgeous. It makes such a statement as soon as you come in. Now, I'm gonna be honest, this part right here is my favorite part. I love this like window seat, this little ledge here. I don't know why, it's just something architecturally, I think it really makes you feel comfortable. And I think that's part of what I love about this home. And when we see this other part, I might even get teary. It makes me feel like I'm home in this home. And this is part of it, this silly old little piece of architecture right here, I love it. Now, keep in mind, this is an inventory home. This home I'm standing in could be your home. Wish it was mine, but it could be yours. Um, and it, it comes with a few things that a lot of inventory homes don't, and one of which are these blinds. It's really important to note that you're going to want to have blinds in your home installed to begin with, and this one already has them. It's usually quite pricey to have it done. It's already included in this house for you, so you don't have to worry about that headache. So again, coming in through the foyer, over here now you're gonna have your formal dining room. This dining room is enormous. It is so big. I love the, uh, the pass-through as well as the tree ceiling, gorgeous lighting fixture, big window over here looking out to the side of your yard, but the space in here is enormous and you can have an absolute feast in here. You can have a table that seats 16 easy breezy. I don't give a family that big, but okay now we're going to take a look at the hub of the home which is over here. It's my favorite part. I don't know why I call it the hub, but it is. This entire space is your downstairs hub and it is beautiful. It's big, it's open, it's light, it's airy, yet it's also comforting and it feels like everything is nestled together. That's really weird. It's big, it's open, it's expansive, but it's nestled together. That's one of the things that I love about marriage homes in general. I feel like their homes make a lot of sense and they make you feel like you're at home. Now this particular home, one of the, I, I love this, it's, um, I'm not sure what the official term is, but basically you're gonna take your wires, your components, and then you feed them all the way through the wall and they come out here. And that keeps those cords from being, you know, dangling and being, you know, kind of ugly, hanging on your wall. Okay, so here's your family area. Now, take a look over here because you have these accordion doors. Not to open these doors, I'm gonna open the other one at the side, but ultimately what you do is you pull this down. I guess I could do it for you, maybe. Nah, no, nah. yep. And you're gonna pull this one up. And then what you do is you pull, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. There you go. Okay, I'm not gonna do it, because, oh, wait, 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 wait. there we go, ha, <laughs> push, don't pull. You know what, they need a sign that says push, don't pull. Okay, I'll make it for you. Okay, so here you go. So these are your accordion, and you have two of them. So this opens you up to your lanai. Now it's really important to remember that when you live in Florida, you can use your outdoor space 365 days a year. Okay, maybe we'll count off a couple of them from when it rains more than five minutes, but this is really beautiful. The outdoor space is so incredibly important and you already have that built in here. You have this extended lanai space all the way over here and then over here all the way to the end of the house. From end of the house to end of the house, you have covered lanai, like covered lanai, covered. This is all covered. 
deep right here, and that's not even imagining what you can do with your green space out here. If you want to build a pool, put some pavers out there, create a great pool oasis, maybe an outdoor kitchen, maybe you want to, um, you know, water tree or waterfall in your in your pool. There's so many things you can do, and you have a lot of yard space to do that. Remember, Florida, that's a lot of yard space. But don't forget, this community also has an amenity center. Okay, so. Over here, I'm gonna save my other thing for last. Okay, over here is your informal dining. So again, this place is incredibly open. So you have this space here, corner to corner. You have great space for your uh, for your informal dining, whether it's a round table, square table, who knows. You've got plenty of room for it here. You've got windows that look out to the back, and you've also got a set of doors there that go out. I'm gonna point this out though, because I love this. Um, for blinds, these are built in. Do you see how that works? These slide up. You want to open it, let the sun in, you've got privacy, there you go. So it's built into the panes of the glass. I know there's a kitchen over there. I know, I teased you, you can't see it yet because I'm going to start crying, so we're going to have to like stop the tape at that moment and I'll have to like dry my eyes. Okay, so here is, um, we're going to call this, this is your pool bath, but it could also be a guest bath. It's a full bath, which is really nice. You have your sink and your toilet, but you also have a glass shower, uh, shower over there, which is really nice. You also have this door here from your lanai, again, with the lovely little sliders. Okay, little sliders right here. Again, you can just open this and you can access the lanai in the pool area. So back over here in the back corner of the home, you have another bedroom. This home has six bedrooms. Six. Six. The master bedroom is downstairs, but this is not the master. This is just one of your, um, one of your other guest bedrooms or children's bedrooms. Nice big bedroom, nice big double door closet. And now before we tour the kitchen, you have to stop for a second. Just pause me. Pause. And then go get uh, maybe an apple pie smelling candle, something like that, maybe peach cobbler or something that like, you know, makes you feel like you're at home. Because this kitchen is, if you want to know what an Amy kitchen looks like, this is an Amy kitchen. This right here. And I'm so in love, like truly in love with this kitchen. It's everything I would want. If you notice, this particular kitchen, it's it's hugging you from everywhere. I love this kitchen. I love it, I love it, I love it. You have pendant lighting, and before we go into the pendant lighting, remember this is an inventory home. Okay, so yeah, one of them is missing the little globe and the light bulb. Don't panic, it'll be, it'll be in there. Um, but look at this, you have white cabinets. Now I know I have a lot of buyers that like white cabinets, and we had white cabinets back in Virginia, and I loved them, don't have them now, but now I kind of wish I did. But these are white cabinets. Again, you have gorgeous brush nickel hardware. You have an, a, just an absolutely glamorous tile or a granite in here, which is a light cream with some darker creams and some veins of gray. Absolutely gorgeous. And they've chosen a beautiful backsplash to coordinate with it. But it's not even that that makes me love this kitchen. It's just the way, it's just, it's circular and it hugs you. I cannot tell you how much I love this kitchen. You have ample cabinet space. You've got a beautiful window to let the sunlight in right over here. Well, I mean, I'm not kidding, okay? You're rolling out your pie dough right here while the sun is just, it's just the perfect kitchen for me. You have your gourmet kitchen, so you have, you have your double oven with this big island right here. You also have your corner pantry, nice pantry in there. And you also have a refrigerator, which yeah, of course you're going to have a refrigerator in your kitchen, but guess what? This home comes with one, so you don't have to buy one. You don't have to wait for that delivery truck to come and install it. It's already here. So again, one more moment for that kitchen because that is my favorite kitchen. I um, also want to point out real quick from far away, do you see that out? there are additional cabinets up to the ceiling? That's really important to point out. The cabinets don't just stop. You have the smaller cabinet up above, great for putting things like your vases or your serving dishes that you only use once a year unless your husband gets you flowers all the time and you keep your flowers out all the time. Hint, hint. Okay, so back over here you have your garage. Your garage entry and then you have this great drop zone, this little um, cubby area. So you've got place for backpacks when the kids get home from school. Everybody can throw their flip flops or their tennis shoes in here and your umbrellas. Uh, you've got extra space over here and then you have your master bedroom. So remember the master bedroom is down in this particular floor plan. This is the Vizcaya from Meritage Homes. We are here at Parkside. So we're going to go into the actual master bedroom part of it. Really nice. Now keep in mind that this flooring has been extended throughout the downstairs and including this master bedroom. That's really important to note. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. While we're in here, we're taking, I think I just messed with the light. Um, you have a tray ceiling, and this is located 
located in the back of the home. So you have these three gorgeous windows, and I want you to just take a moment. That candle's still going, right? You're still smelling that peach cobbler, that apple pie. Okay, so now we're gonna carry that on. You're in your master bed, and you've created a great outdoor space. You put in a pool, you've done some pavers out there, you've got some great landscaping, and you are gonna be able to wake up every morning with a cup of coffee and look at that view and go, ah, this is heaven. Okay, so here we are in the master bathroom. So, really beautiful. Separate his and her vanities, again with the white cabinets. I love it, I love what they've chosen to do. So you have the cabinets that go all the way up and down. Separate, and this is like a gray, um, like a quartz counter in here. So again, you have the same white cabinets from the kitchen, but this is a different countertop. So this is a, like a gray granite with little flecks of white in there. Separate his and her. Look at this freestanding tub. I love that. No longer is it banked in and encased with the tile. This is a lovely freestanding tub, a tub with a big window up above. You have a really large oversized shower and I love it's got the little nooks in the shower for you to put the soap and the shampoo, um, razors, all that kind of stuff in there. It's really nice. And the tile in there is really cool. All right, so let's see. Let's keep going back over here. Separate door for the toilet. Then you have a linen closet right over here because you know every master bedroom should have a linen closet. And then you're back over here into the master closet itself. Again, take a look at the shelving. This level home here with Meritage Homes, you automatically get some incredible upgrades. This is really beautiful. Now, while we're kind of walking back out, I'm gonna meet you upstairs in a minute, but I wanted to point out something because I've said it a few times and it's important. I do a lot. I kind of specialize in the new construction process as a realtor. Now, I can list your home. I can help you find resale. That's all great. But when it comes to new constructions, there are so many things that people don't know. One thing I want to point out is this floor. Because this floor, while it is an upgrade for sure, it is extended. And what I mean by extended is in most builders, carpet is not, the carpet is going to be standard most places except in the wet areas. Wet areas are going to be your kitchen, your laundry room, your um, bathrooms. Those are called wet areas. And those rooms are the ones that are going to come standard with some type of a solid surface like tile. So when you want tile in this area, you have to pay for it. And that's one of the things I want to point out because this is an inventory home and there are obviously so many incredible pricey options and upgrades, this is a steal. So we're going to go upstairs and we're going to look but for the moment. I just, I just want to look at this kitchen again because it really is absolutely, it's an Amy kitchen. I'm just going to tell you. So Meritage Homes, you know, maybe come remodel my kitchen for me. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to meet you upstairs because you know what? We're nowhere done. Nowhere near done with this house. We've still got more bedrooms to see. I'll see you upstairs. Okay, so now we're upstairs with this gorgeous Vizcaya inventory home here at Parkside built by Meritage Homes. This is probably one of the most amazing, most beautiful inventory homes that I have seen. This is a great, great deal. As soon as you come upstairs, you have this magnificent game room. Now, I know sometimes it's hard because we look at a lot of the model homes and everything is already decorated. And sometimes we have this blank canvas and you might ask yourself, well, what can I do with it? Well, I'll tell you what, you could do anything you want in this area. This area is huge. From corner to corner, do you see the amount of space here? Not only that, but you have these three windows that are located up high. They're located up high for a reason. That gives you this wall space to put furniture. You could either have shelving and cabinetry here for the games and, and movies and things like that, or you could put maybe your sectional. Who knows what you want to do, but the fact that you have that as usable wall space is great. This wall over here is going to obviously have your TV because you've got your outlets, your cable outlet, and you've got, again, the little um, invisible thing where you put your cords through, drapes through the wall, and it comes out here so you have no cords dangling. So while we're here, let's take a quick peek because we have gray on the walls. It's a very, very light gray paint, and then you have a really nice carpet. This carpet's actually beautiful. I don't think I've seen this carpet before either. It's almost, I'm just going to call it salt and pepper because that's what it looks like. It looks like salt and pepper. It's really beautiful. Really nice. Now, you might think that in a room this large, you've probably got you know ample space to do with what you want, but there's so much more to this particular game room flex space area, because if this room wasn't enough, you now have an entire media room right here connected off of it. You have these double doors with a room with no windows, making it a true media room. Look at that, that's fantastic, right? So you have this incredible space for, um, you can create your own uh, seating in here. I've seen people do it with like lounge chairs, with massage chairs. They even build their own stadium seating. 
whatever you want to do with it again you've got all of the components that you need to hook up your incredible entertainment area so you've got media room you've got game room and flex space you know the only thing that's missing is perhaps i don't know some like you know water from a fridge or a soda or maybe a beer if you're a beer drinker you know maybe you need a little microwave popcorn well here you go you've got this great wet bar upstairs this area, one of the things I really like about this, most times you see these wet bars and they're kind of smack dab in the middle or at the end of the game room or flex space. This one is literally, it's like right tucked over here to the side. So it's not taking away from the square footage you need over there. So maximize that space, utilize this space, Boom, Meredith, you are amazing with your floor plan designs, truly. Over here, you have your laundry room. Now, again, this is an inventory home, so it's important to note, look at this. You've got cabinets, upper and lower, as well as this countertop here. You have a utility sink. You have another bank of cabinets up above, and then space for your washer and dryer, and then you have that same gorgeous tile that we saw up the wall in the master bath is on the floor in here. Now here's another bedroom. Now remember this bed, this home has um, six bedrooms, six bedrooms. This is really nice. You have a bedroom downstairs as well as the master bedroom, which means we have four bedrooms upstairs. So from corner to corner, here's one of those bedrooms. I love this window right here. It's nice and arched up above. You have this great walk-in closet over here with really nice, sturdy, fantastic shelving already installed for you. But the other thing that I really like about this is that this bedroom connects to the other bedroom with a Jack and Jill. Love, love, love Jack and Jills. I think they're so incredibly practical. So you'll notice that for this bedroom, there's no wall, there's no door here. This is completely open to this bedroom's private sink and cabinet area. Then there's this door here that's going to connect you to the um, bathtub and the shower area. Yep, there we go. So you have your toilet and you have your shower with the tub. And then you have another door which connects this bathroom or this vanity area with this closet into this bedroom. So essentially these two bedrooms, they're connected by that Jack and Jill. And that's really important to note out. Love Jack and Jill bathrooms, I think are a really smart way to, um, to just be really efficient with that bathroom space but make everyone still feel like they've kind of got their own private bathroom. Also makes it great for mom or whoever it is that has to clean the house. They've only got one and that one is tucked away so no one really sees that. Now, you might be lost, but we just came out of that bathroom. I'm gonna point out where we are real fast. Right here, this is your game room. Behind me is the media room. The stairs are over there. This is the wet bar. There was the laundry room. We walked to that bedroom through the Jack and Jill, through the other bedroom, and now there's another whole hall up here. Okay, seriously, this is like a fun game of Marco Polo. This is awesome. Marco, and you've got to find whoever the guest is at your house. So you have this great bathroom here. This one, again, has two sinks. This is a really long counter space, by the way. I want to point that out. You know, usually you have sink, and then you have sink. Do you see how much space you have between these two sinks? This is a lot of counter space. Great lighting fixtures up above. Again, you have the shower and the bathtub with the toilet. This is a great, um, nice, big bathroom. Love, again, the cabinets with the hardware on them already. Really lovely. And then back over here, you have these two bedrooms, the ones that share that. Now, really nice size bedrooms. Again, one of the things that I think is important to note, um, because I really do care about the bedroom sizes, not everybody wants a big bedroom, but most people want the bedrooms to at least be able to accommodate real furniture for real people and not just a tiny little bed that they put maybe in a model home. But this home, no joke, has great size bedrooms, great closet space, a lot, I mean, this is a 4,800 square foot home and they have utilized every square foot of it in the most efficient way possible. Great floor plan. So here's another bedroom. Now I like this bedroom because I like angles. So I love it when there's one wall that kind of gives you a little bit of a cool architectural thing. It's just an angled wall, but to me, I think it's really cool. You have this big double window here at front. And then again, you have this great big closet right over here. Nice big walk-in closet with that great shelving. Okay. so. Let's wrap up this video because you're probably getting hungry because you've been smelling that apple pie candle or the peach cobbler, right? Okay, so this is the Vizcaya floor plan, 4,800 square feet. This is six bedrooms, four baths, okay? Six bedrooms, four baths. Downstairs master, downstairs uh, guest room with a full bath where the pool bath is. It has the Miss Amy kitchen that I love and adore. And it has this incredible upstairs, very smartly utilized space. 
This home at the moment is $827,000. Um, again, we are at Parkside, which is in Dr. Phillips area of Florida. We are centrally located to any and everything. If you wanna to go to the parks, you're there. If you wanna to go to the airport, you're there. Really a great location, well known for fantastic schools. This really is a great community built by Meritage Homes. I think this might be your home. Give me a call at 407-848-8042. You can email me at amy at heartandhomeorlando.com. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel because you'll be updated with all the latest and greatest video tours of not just the model homes, but of these inventory homes. These come on the market very quickly and sometimes they're off the market very quickly. And hopefully this one's gonna go off the market very quickly to you. Don't blow out that candle yet. I want you to keep it going and I want you to talk about buying this home and then I want you to give me a call. Have a great day, everybody. Happy house hunting.